Ken. We're, today we're working with Task Contact 8.8 .8, and we've logged in and we're currently on the home page and as you can see here we have two ACDQs set up, billing and customer service and currently there's one agent on the phone and two idle agents uh, and two logged out. So this is a real-time status so you can see when, when somebody calls in, when an agent answers the call, which agent it is, how long they've been on the phone and uh, at the top here you can see what they call the web sign. So for each of the queues you can see how many calls are waiting, what the longest average wait time is, uh, how many agents are on an ACD call and on a non-ACD call for each queue. Um, and this page is customizable to the information that you use all the time. So when you log in, uh, the first page will pro prompt you with uh, real-time stats, historical stats, um, queue summaries, agent summaries, uh, whatever you customize it to show. Um, currently I have the agent summary and the queue summary up on this page and the real-time stats. Uh, so if I click on one of these agents here, we can see that this agent um, per hour has, um, has different, you know, what, how many calls they took. So from the 8 o'clock hour, you know, they took four ACD calls and they were on the phone for 11 minutes of ACD calls and um, from the 8 o'clock hour and you can see down here the historical uh, call activity for the day broken out into hours and so you can figure out when your peak time is of calls to so maybe staff up your agents more at that time um, and uh, same with the queue summaries so instead of if you want to look at what the agents are doing I'm sorry the queues are doing rather than the agents you can see that billing has answered 54 calls a day 21 of those were abandoned and uh, how, how long it took to get the call answered was about three minutes the longest call waited 12 minutes to be answered and then you can drill down into that queue and then see about uh, see per hour how many calls uh, came in and how many were answered and how many were abandoned and uh, so, so you can start to see uh, for this company the busiest time is noon to one and one to two they got the most calls um, so you, you know at lunchtime a lot of people are calling you need to keep some agents staffed up during lunchtime um, you can also see the service factor, meaning how many agents you have available versus how many calls you get and that are pro they're answered in a, uh, an average time, you know, time frame that you're looking for that you set. Um, so as you see, their, their service factor is not very good here, but uh, that's customizable as, again to your cu custom needs. Um, let's see. You can see when calls were abandoned um, per hour. So you can see around that that uh, 10, 11, and 12 o'clock period, oops, there was uh, you know, three, two, and three calls abandoned. And at one o'clock, there was eight calls abandoned. That's probably because agents went to lunch um, rather than uh, staffing up, and people got sick of waiting, so they hung up. So that that's a good indicator that you need to uh, maybe keep your agents in at lunchtime and then have them. Uh, have lunch after uh, 1.30 or 2 o'clock so that you can answer those calls more efficiently. Um, so on the next page it has the same thing as the home because that's what I put on my home page was the real time so you can see that one agent is idle waiting for a call, two are in the unavailable status and two are logged out. Um, once again this is all customizable, the colors are customizable, um, the thresholds on when you know it'll it'll alert you that there's calls waiting or they've been waiting too long um, is customizable. <clears throat> you can actually set up here that if there's you know X amount of calls waiting, this window will turn red or it'll play an alert out of your speakers so that you're um, audibly aware that there's a problem and that you need to get more agents on the phone. Um, let's see. Under review, you can look at historical uh, information for the day. So you can see the current the current day, or you can see the last hour, last 12 hours, etc. Um, on uh, the individual queues and, and how many calls came into those queues. You can drill down into those queues and look at that same information that we looked at on the home page. Um, and then you can also drill into the agents and look at how the agent has performed for the day. So you can see that 
agent 8804 has answered 80, I'm sorry, 47 ACD calls and made 17 outgoing calls and they've been on the phone for almost two hours with ACD calls and then we're on the phone for almost 30 minutes with outgoing calls today. Um, you can get a, a total for the day down below. And then if you have a tr uh, tr tracer, which is a trunk recording uh, program, you can actually replay the calls and listen to them um, at this in this page. And then under reports, you can run a daily, a weekly, a monthly, um, a, a range, um, any, any customizable reports that you want of uh, historical information. So I can go back to uh, yesterday or last month, whatever you want to look at, and you can select multiple days and run a report and look at the queues by the hour. So I can see yesterday they had 86 calls into billing. Um, and 47 of those calls were answered. And you can see the average, how long it took to answer the call, uh, how long the average calls were. So you see how long your agents are staying on the phone with your customer. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of detailed information about each of the queues uh, by the hour. And then Visualizer, which is my favorite feature, um, if you have a specific call that you're looking for, um, you can go back and look at look for that call. So you can pick a specific date. And you can sp sp pick a specific phone, phone number, or you can pick a, a specific DID that they called in on, or if it was inbound, Call an external call, whatever the you're looking for, you can drill down to it, and it'll bring up a report of that that specific uh, information. And then once you've once you run that report and you see the list, you can actually see visually how the call progressed through the phone system. So here I brought in all the calls for yesterday, and uh, say I want to look at what happened with this specific call from that phone number. So we can drill in there and see that the call. Visually, we can see that a call started at this time, it rang in on this phone line, hit the voicemail, and then went into the, the billing queue, and then it rang on this agent, and that agent answered. So uh, you can visually see the call progression, which is a great tool to have. You can also see if you mouse over up here in the different colors, it gives you that same visual indicator of what happened with the call uh, as it went through the phone system. request for a do-it-yourself video tutorial topic? Send the topic you'd like us to feature to marketing at simplesolutions.com.